Okay, I want to thank all of you for allowing me to share my findings uh, with my research class on MobyMax, the web-based program. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, what is MobyMax? MobyMax is a web-based system that is fully integrated with a common core curriculum used in grades K through 8. It creates a customized curriculum for each student based on personal skills and measures performance on every standard in the Common Core. Now, Susanmore Elementary uses the MobyMax system as part of their Tier 3 intervention. In addition to providing a customized learning experience, the MobyMax teaching system creates differentiation in the classroom. Its adaptive curriculum delivers an individualized plan for each student, enabling the gifted students to advance as quickly as they need to, while ensuring the other students receive the extra attention that they require. This is the reason that Susan Well Elementary School uses MobyMax as part of their Tier 3 intervention because it is specific to the skills that each student would need. Uh, one of the pluses in using Mo Moby Max is the student motiv motiv motivation, which would be certificates, contests, badges, behavior vibes, games, and daily smiles. Part of the uh, motivation that I really like is the games, which they can earn points as they complete certain lessons. <coughs> and so this is really a motivational factor for the students because they want to earn those game points. Um, and this was also part of my wondering when I decided to do research on MobyMax. Some of the classroom tools available are time and alerts, worksheets, whiteboard activities, messenger, a social wall, and a student response system. Um, what I like to use is the messenger, which is used kind of like a text message, where I can send individual students maybe a message uh, encouragement or maybe I see that you need to work on a certain skill where well, you can type that message in to one student or if you want to send an entire class and you could send an entire class the same message. Students are also uh, using Messenger. They're, they, they are allowed to actually type messages back to the teacher so uh, they're real excited when they get to do that and they can see a response. Okay, some of the data that's available is diagnostic testing, progress monitoring, which is really what I like to use because it really breaks the um, report down. Uh, placement test is what they're actually going to start with to get started on the program. And then you can also uh, sign daily goals for a class or for an individual student. What does research tell us about English language learners? And this is going to be kind of the focus for uh, this presentation. Academic achievement between English language learners or ELL students and regular students are carefully documented by the U.S. National Assessment of Educational Progress. For example, the 2005 NAEP results indicate that 54% of fourth grade ELL students scored at or above the basic achievement level in mathematics compared to 83% of fourth grade regular students, which would be a performance gap of 29%. Another part of my research, the 2006 Texas Assessment of Knowledge and Skills, a statewide test results also showed that 73% of ELL students in grades three, four, and five scored at or above the minimum passing standard in math compared to 86% of regular students, which is a performance gap of 13%. And you have to remember, this is the minimum passing standards. Okay, let's take a look at Susan Moore Elementary School. The student population here at the school, 30.2% um, identifies as Hispanic. Uh, my wonderings for this study was what effect will the use of MobyMax have on my students' understanding of addition and subtraction concepts? What effect will the use of MobyMax have on my students' attitude toward addition and subtraction, which will be part of the motivation? What are some effective strategies 
I can incorporate in my teaching, which I actually found uh, strategies that Moby Max did teach. Uh, those strategies were very good and, and actually started incorporating those into my whole group and small group lessons. And how will the strategies learned help students understand addition, additional math standards? Okay, the ELL students participating in the study. I want to give you just a little bit of background information on each student. Student A repeated first grade, uh, is currently failing grades in math, is a tier two and tier three student, is also considered a SPIRE student, which helps with um, word recognition and sounds, has no ELL services, qualified for special education services, and mom is fluent in English. Student B, repeated first grade, currently failing math for the fourth nine weeks, is a tier two student, will be referred to PST, no ELL services, parents speak very little English. And student C, repeated first grade, currently has a 76 C in math, receives ELL services, and parents are fluent in English. So we, for this study, I looked at three, these three students. Um, I gave a pretest on addition and subtraction uh, before I started the study, and uh, this is the addition and subtraction test. And some of the results here, if you'll notice, I know it's hard for you to see, uh, that student A uh, got zero out of 11 problems correct. And as you can see, if you can see, she didn't show any of her work, which is always, you know, part of taking any kind of assessment is you have to show your work, which she didn't hear. Um, so I'm, get, I'm just assuming that she's guessing answers. Uh, student B attempted to show work, uh, but still only got one out of 11 problems correct. And student C, as you can tell, did not show any work with the addition and used the correct strategy, the number line strategy for subtraction. And student C got six out of 11 problems correct. Okay, post-test results. Uh, student A, as you can see, has shown her work. She went from zero to 11, zero out of 11 problems correct, up to five out of 11 problems correct. So that was um, a good bit of an increase. Uh, student B went from one out of 11 problems correct to six out of 11 problems correct. And you can see work is shown. And then stu student C went from five out of 11 problems correct to seven out of 11 problems correct. And showing work up here where he didn't on his um, pretest really did help him. He just missed one of those. So that was quite a bit of an increase. Okay, looking at comparing the pre and post test results, student A again, zero out of 11 on the pretest. 5 out of 11 on the post-test, which is an overall increase of 6 points. Student B went from 1 out of 11 on the pre-test to 6 out of 11, which is a 5-point increase. And student C, 6 out of 11 on the pre-test to 7 out of 11, which is a 1-point increase. So overall, you know, each student did increase some. Okay, this is a, an example of the progress monitoring reports that Moby Max uh, has available to the teachers, which is a great thing to have because it really breaks down different areas that you can look at for monitoring. Uh, it shows grade level increases. Um, it would show standards that have been passed. Uh, it also shows lessons that have been completed and then upcoming lessons that they will eventually progress to, which is a good thing for the teachers to know. And so each student gets a progress, or more, progress monitoring report printed each week. The overall results of the report, student A began Moby Max at a 1.8 proficiency, increased to a 2.4, which is an overall increase of 0.6. Student B went from a 1.0 proficiency to 1.5, which is an overall increase of 0.5. And student C started at a 2.4, increased to a 2.5, which is an overall point increase. Sorry, it's 
having trouble today. Um, part of my research that, um, you know, as I was working on this on this project, student achievement improved on Moby Max proficiency and the post-test results. Therefore, I agree with my literature finding that educators have utilized advances in technology with game-based learning, which is what Moby Max offers, and wireless internet access to create exciting interactive learning opportunities for students that may translate into student achievement. And in this case, it did because each student did increase at least some. The digital learning classroom can significantly improve performance for ELL students to the extent to which they perform at similar achievement levels as regular students in traditional math classrooms. And this again is part of my literature uh, research. So therefore I feel through my inquiry learning, Moby Max can be one such resource that, that teachers can utilize in their classroom. Any questions anyone might have about the Moby Max web-based system? Is it just math related? Um, such as asked, is it just math related? And no, it is not. It's actually any subject matter, whether it be uh, reading, phonics, I know science, social studies is also available. So it's very, uh, it should call subject specific of what you want your students to work on. And each one of the subject topics, you can print the reports for just that subject. So it's very user friendly for the teachers and also for the students. So, uh, yes, it covers all the common core. Any other questions? Okay, well, if not, I want to thank you for your attention and your time, and I hope that you have found this information uh, something that you might use in your classroom. Thank you.